So today, Head of DT is going to ride on the back of Holly for the first time. Head of DT, you've never ridden on the back of a sport bike, right? Well, let's teach you how to ride on a sport bike. And yes, she has a dual cross helmet on, or dual sport, or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna move this bike out of the way. Let's get the passenger pegs put down. All right, your ass is gonna be in this tiny little baby seat. Your feet go here. Hold on to me. If I do something, you do that exact same thing. Don't ever go the other way. So just hold me tight, and if I go to the right, you go to the right. If I go to the left, you go to the left. We are hooked up on Cena's so we can talk. I think we're good. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. I'm gonna get on the bike. I'm gonna like establish that I have control, and then you're going to come over here, put your foot on this peg, hold my shoulder, pull up, swing your leg over, put your foot down on this, and then you sit down onto the seat. Then you can grab me and we'll start going, okay? Okay, I'm on my bike. I've got my kickstand up. I'm gonna put both hands on my handlebars. So use this, put your foot up, hold my shoulder, swing your leg over, and you can sit down on it. Jesus. How do you my, feel? My butt is burning. Hold on to me, and now I'll hold the tank. Okay, the tank is what you need to hold if we are coming into a braking situation. Because otherwise, if you're holding on to me, what's going to happen is you're going to slide into me and you're going to push my balls up all up on the gas. <laughs> so we're going to try to avoid that, okay? Okay, so we're going to get the bike cranked up. You still good? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I mean, can I remove this leg? Yeah, you can adjust and get, get comfortable. Okay, you ready? Yeah, how fast are you going to go? Very slow. I mean, we're going to be on comms, babe. If you need me to slow down, you tell me. Okay. okay. so, will you tell me before I need to, like, lean or something? No, you just hold on to me and it'll happen. Oh. You'll, it'll make sense. We're not going to be leaning a lot here because it's not a lot to do leaning. Okay, what if I feel like I'm going to slide off? Hold on to me tighter. But my butt is... I mean, I don't... I trust my legs to hold on to your waist, but my butt is sliding off. Just like grab the tank and adjust my butt. I would just, I would say yeah like you'll I don't you're not gonna have a problem with your butt sliding off I don't think. When I'm holding onto you my butt slides closer to you. That's okay. Um yeah I would say put one arm around me one arm on the tank. Then you have both scenarios. Can I hold it tight to you? Yeah you can hold me as tight as you want. Okay. So just as a reminder to everybody watching this video, this is Heather's first time on the back of a sport bike. She's never ridden on the back of a bike before. So we're getting her a custom. We are in a giant open parking lot. There is no traffic here. I'm happy to have wind in my face. Yeah, exactly. That's all I was trying to get us out and going. How you feeling? Not as bad as I thought I would be. I tried to tell you, it's, it's, it is very scary when you haven't done it yet. But once you do it, it's not as bad. So how did you feel about doing this before you got on it? Like, what was the feeling beforehand? What were you worried about? Like, the moments before or like months before? Well, both. Can you slow down in case there's a car? Yeah, I'm watching. Don't worry about that. Like, that's nothing you have to worry with on this. So what I was worried about beforehand, obviously traffic, but we kind of uh, removed that from falling off like sliding off I think because I did ride on the back of the dirt bike in a situation before like in a I don't I think it was just like a quick little like go up to the top of the parking deck type thing uh, before and I I guess because it's not made for two people I kept my butt kept sliding off every time you would turn yeah and I thought that that was how this would be yeah I also am still trying to figure out how to uh like it's not I don't feel like it's natural for when you're leaning one way for me to try and lean the same way I, my natural reaction is to go the other way to balance okay. and so I'm kind of like that's kind of weird but interesting okay so the leaning with me is just not intuitive then 
Not for me, at least. Okay. So the thing you were reacting to earlier when you were like, don't take the turn that fast. Yeah. The thing you're reacting to is a thing called counter steering with motorcycles. So what happens is when we're going slow, we're going about 12 right now. When we're going 12, when I push, when I make the wheel go to the left, the bike goes to the left. If I put, if I make, if I put the wheel going right, the bike will go right. All right, so I'm going to explain. I'm going to show that to you. Now watch the wheels. Like, see, I turn the handlebar to the right, and we go right. Yeah. Well, when you go over a certain amount of speed, that switches. So at a certain speed, it's about probably 15 to 20. When you push to, when you make the wheel go left, the bike's going to go right. Right. That's why it's called counter steering. I but that only engages at a certain speed. Right. And at about that speed is when you start leaning with the bike. And when you lean, you lean in the direction you're turning. Okay? Turning the wheel or turning the handle? The way you lean in the direction you want to go. So we would lean in this way to right. go this way. Gotcha. So I'm, what I'm thinking is when we have to counter steer, that's when you're like, oh, I don't like the way this feels. Yeah. What would happen to me as a passenger if I'm not, like if I don't lean, like if I don't get the memo that you're about to turn for some reason? Yeah. Like what would happen to me as a passenger if I don't turn that way? Nothing, nothing would happen, based, uh, essentially. Nothing's going to happen if you don't lean with me. It, the bike is just not going to be as stable as it could be. Mm. And granted, you know, there's nothing in this parking lot that's going to cause a big problem. But when you're talking, like, if we were on the highway and let's just say I took a really hard exit and we had to lean into it, I would have to steer the bike more to make the same, uh, like, the same turn as opposed to if you were just leaning with me, we wouldn't have to turn the bike as much. One thing I don't like about being a passenger on this bike is that you don't have mirrors. So in order for you to look behind us, I don't feel like you could do that as effectively as when you're by yourself. I could definitely do like this. Is it scary? Not really. Yeah. But, I mean, I think I've always said from the very beginning that it, what's scary to me is cars, not you, like not. You're not worried about what I'll do, you're worried about what other people will do? Yeah. Well, if, for anybody that's doing this with their girlfriend or their significant other, one thing I would definitely recommend is do this in a big parking lot like this and eliminate as many variables as the person can have. Especially um, if they've never been on a bike. I mean, like I've been on T, but I've never been on the street. It's never really been my interest to be on the street on a motorcycle. Yeah. It still really isn't, but I want to do this to, just to know. Yeah. Because I mean, sometimes it's appealing like when we're in the city, just to think like, okay, well, it would be fun for a day just to get on the back of Holly and us ride around Atlanta or ride around at the beach or, and yeah. not have to worry about being in a vehicle, but I mean, in a car. I feel like I'm really, uh, I don't know that paranoid is the right word, but I'm very uh, cautious. I'm just a cautious person. Yeah. And so, like, I just don't really respond or react the same to people who are not not as cautious as me so to other people I might seem paranoid but to me I'm just like looking out for my own well-being as far as having faith in me with this with driving or riding or you know piloting the motorcycle how does that kind of go into effect like are you just kind of like well I hope he doesn't wreck us into something or how is that working in right your brain? now yeah I mean, I'm not even thinking about that. Like, I, I trust you, and I don't think you're a reckless or careless rider. Like, had it been, had, like, we, had this happened, like, around the time that you were, you know, just learning, or not just learning, but, like, you know, years ago. Yeah. I might be thinking that, but I'm not now because I trust you as a rider. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, anybody that's watching this, if you guys are brand new to riding, I definitely don't recommend you doing this because kind of similar to why we're doing this in a parking lot, we're eliminating all the outside variables like cars and traffic and all that kind of stuff. 
and that's going to facilitate Heather learning better like as far as like how to ride. Um, and you don't want to compound those variables with you learning how to ride. I personally have been riding for I think five years now and I'm a very competent rider so I'm not having to think about clutch control or the throttle or this and that. I actually I know what I'm doing. I'm not even have to think about that stuff. The only thing I'm having to keep in mind at this very moment is how fast am I going and don't do anything abrupt that Heather's not ready for. Those are the only things that are kind of in my mind of like, okay, stay focused on, you know, staying under 15 miles an hour and taking turns extra slowly to help her get used to it. You know, everybody's different. Obviously, like, to some people that might be watching this, they might be like, oh my God, this is so boring. Like, they're, y'all are paranoid. There's a car. Okay. People might get anxious in this situation, but literally I, I'm, I am also analytical, so I like ask questions constantly, like, okay, what happens if this? Because I, I feel like the more informed I am about situations, the better I can react or respond yep. in the right ways. So, and some people might not give a shit. They might be like, I'm gonna do whatever feels good in the moment. Yeah, you're one of those people that likes to be prepared for a situation and all that kind of shit. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm the exact same way though, and I feel like the people that research stuff on YouTube, like. The fact that somebody's researching this video means that they're probably looking for tips and techniques on how to teach their significant other to want to ride. So I feel like the same type person is going to watch this video kind of that you are to get prepped for to learn to what they need to know. Also another thing to keep in mind guys is when you're doing this kind of stuff, this kind of goes back to the, the pilot of the vehicle. Um, one of the hardest locations or the hardest maneuvering for motorcycling is slow speed. So be very careful. Like I said, I've, I've ridden before and I've ridden with passengers and I've ridden at slow speed before so it's not a big deal to me. But I don't want you guys to have been riding for a month and be like, oh yeah, get on the back. Because it is a totally separate riding style, at least the way I do it when I'm riding with a passenger. I'm a lot more careful, and there's just a lot more stuff you have to keep in mind when you have a passenger on the back. Are you not concerned about like the gravel and rocks that are in the parking lot? Nope, that's why I rode around on T earlier to check, and uh, I've already checked everything, and um, I feel confident in the road. Can we stop and get off, because my arms and back are hurting? Absolutely. Okay, so to get off, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna establish that I've planted the bike. Okay, the same way you got off, lift your legs up and stand up on the pegs a little bit. Right now? Yep, I've established the bike. I've established the, the balance of the bike. You're fine, I've got it. Now what? Now swing that right leg over. Can I hold on to the bike? Um, if you want to, yeah. I mean, you, holding on to me is probably a better set, but. Well, I can't really see around all of this shit, so it's like. Oh, uh, gotcha. Well, how's that? Fine. Lot, lot less like dangerous than you expected. Well, we weren't in any dangerous situation. I know, but you were still scared to get on the bike and do it. Well, high five. All right, babe. I'm ready when you are. All right, I have established balance on the bike. It's funny that I say that. Oh, it's just to make it very clear with you that. The bike is in my control. You are safe to get on. Alrighty, ready for the final ride of the day? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, ready? Yep, yep. Okay. So, to recap today. Yes, we, well, we, we, we took a break, took some pictures. And I rode T a little bit. Yeah, Heather rode T a little bit. Now we're back on the R6 to to do a little more like one final day test of uh, how Heather feels on the back of the bike. Um, so how do you think you, how do you, if you were to rate this experience from a learning perspective, what would you, what would you say, how good was it? Like on a scale of one to 10? Sure. Um, I would say it's about a, like a eight or nine. I think okay, they, so. I don't, I only think that the only difference could have been, I mean, one thing
thing is out of our control, like how hot it is, but because uh, that uh, automatically makes people more irritable. And then yeah. with, with extra gear, you're just like, ugh, miserable. But I guess it's one of those things you just get used to. And then another thing is that obviously I know like it's my, I'm weird, like I'm, it's my preference to be out here. Well, yeah, the point is to do something that you're comfortable with, then um, when, like, and you slowly introduce new things. Yeah. So, if it wasn't so hot today, I think what we would probably go into is me going a little faster and you getting used to leaning over with me. Yeah. Because I don't think you're comfortable with that yet. I mean, I definitely think I'm more comfortable now than I was this morning, or not this morning, but earlier. It's very interesting. I think you react the very, very similar to how Matt does, where you react a lot on what the bike sounds like. Because there's been times where the bike was revving a little higher than what you were used to, I think. And you were kind of like, slow down, slow down, slow down, but we were going at the same speed. How's that feel? There you go. That's what I expect to feel. Uh, see? You, you got it. You gotta trust me totally that I am not gonna let this bike fall over with you on it or me on it. Cause that's gonna allow you to feel where I'm going. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, so you're doing better. We're actually going a, a little bit faster than we were earlier. Yeah. This is the beginning of a transition into when you counter steer. So this is when we pull it one way and we go the other. Alrighty guys, well, I think this is a pretty successful day. So to kind of recap what we've done today, I've just gotten Heather on the back of the bike. I have not left first gear and I've kept the bike under 20 miles an hour. You're probably saying to yourself, well, that's boring. I don't want to go practice that. But it's these boring little things that are going to get her used to slow speed. And once she's used to slow speed, we'll start picking the speed up gradually and she's going to learn to be more and more comfortable. Granted, every passenger is going to be different. You know, you have some people that might just jump on and want you just to haul ass. So you kind of have to judge your passenger. I would really super recommend getting your passenger on a Cena. Me and Heather can both talk to each other with our Bluetooth communicators right now. So she's able to tell me, I don't feel comfortable, slow down, or okay, this is feeling good. I, I feel like we can do a little more than this. If you guys want to grab a scene, you can click the link in the description. I've put one down, or put a link down there for you to grab one if you want one. I highly recommend it. As the, as the person learning to ride, I would also recommend, like if you are the one who wants to learn and you're trying to convince your boyfriend or whoever it is to teach you, uh, I would, as the person asking, I would recommend this as well because, you know, like as me back here, tapping him could be And I mean, you, back in the day, what you'd have to do is before you go out and ride, you would have to like figure out hand gestures with your passenger like, hey, so double tap me if you want to slow down, pinch my leg if you want me to stop. Like, you'd have to figure stuff like that out. But the thing that sucks about that, especially in this situation, is not only is Heather having to learn how to ride, a bi ride on the back of a motorcycle, but in that scenario, she would also have to be learning like having to memorize sign language and shit, like it just makes it so, it, it, it makes it a much easier situation for all parties involved. So right. I definitely recommend the Bluetooth thing. And um, as far as how slow or fast you take it, it's gonna be totally up to your passenger. You kind of need to let them uh, kind of tell you how fast they want to go, how, how much they want to learn. For Heather's specific purpose, you know, today all we did was ride around the parking lot at about 16 miles an hour. But anyways, guys, we're gonna call this a day. I think it's pretty successful. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, where do I get off this bike? Cause this seat sucks. No, the seat actually doesn't suck. It's like I'm not used to leaning over. Like I feel hunched over. I feel like my posture is so bad. But anyways.
anyways, guys, I hope you guys found this video uh, helpful. If you're trying to, uh, you know, teach somebody to ride or just trying to convince somebody to get on the back with you, um, you know, just take it easy and take it to their own pace. If you guys like this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. The channel's not all about learning yet, but uh, the starter series is slowly coming out, I promise. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Chase. I'm headed ET. That's headed ET. If you want to click to her channel, there'll be a link in the description and on the screen right now. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next video. Later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job, babe. I'm really proud of you. Thank you.